Hello there. Um, I'm sorry this is out so late. I know I said it would be out later in the week, but I got so busy. If you saw my last video, I kind of got bored and quit making my texting story. And then I like voiceovered the rest of my ideas and notes and that was that. So um, basically what I said in that video was I'm just heavily burnt out. Like making them every week and spending like half my weekend doing it it's just too much at this point money is like my only motivation and that sounds really bad but that's true so the uh like two dollars per video it's just not worth the like five hours of planning typing editing and waiting lord the waiting it's so annoying anyways after doing some thinking i've come to a conclusion it is true that i really don't like making texting stories anymore because it takes me a really long time and sometimes it feels like it doesn't have the capacity to be as good as i could make it because it isn't in the format of actual writing and novels which frustrates me i also would like it to be able to somehow improve my writing in the long term because it's really not like I was going to be making texting stories like forever, right? So if I was like writing proper fan fiction, like in the proper format, then I would at least be improving. But when it comes to texting story, I'm really not. Also the fact that when someone asks me what I do and then I say I make miraculous texting stories, like come on now, that sounds ridiculous to anyone other than people watching it and myself. I don't know, I guess I just want to be able to write in more mature ways and somehow still share it on YouTube. Like I I would do something like Mira or Stacy, but I'm way too awkward to like read out stuff like that. I'm sorry. Anyway, there will be a moment in time where I'm like, hey, you know what? I kind of feel like making a texting story. It's not hurting anybody. I feel like it. I'm not angry. So yeah. So I'm not going to go out and say I'm quitting because that will happen. Just maybe not every single week. I also have like a whole bunch of half-baked ideas I want to elaborate on and I'm gonna need a way to do that. Honestly, you guys didn't seem to hate the whole voiceover my idea thing I did in the last video, and I didn't hate it either, so maybe I'll make more videos like that. Back when my channel was like at the peak of its time, back like when Miraculous was huge on TikTok, I had this really cool idea to go live and make a video with you guys, but I don't know how well that would work now because I only have a few loyal viewers. Um, let me know what you think about that in the comments of this video and if I should do it or not because it seems kind of fun. Anyway, I'm not quitting. There just will be some changes. I'm not going to be so strict about posting. And I'm going to upload whenever I feel like it. And I'm going to upload more random stuff. Maybe stuff from other shows too. There will be times when I feel like uploading a miraculous texting story. And then I will. I'm sure you guys won't mind too much. Since there are many, many other consistent miraculous writers on YouTube for you to watch. Though my style is very unique and 20% cooler than others. Haha, <laughs> haha, I'm kidding. Anyway, I'm just gonna experiment a bit and see what other ways I can make videos. So if you're loyal, just sit back and watch me establish my style. Also, please don't skip the ads. I love you, bye! Help, I just edited out eight total seconds of breathing. What's wrong with me?